Tonight, we're here to celebrate the achievements and the progression and the development of our graduates and apprentices. Over the last two years, it's been a privilege to see the 2021 cohort of nuclear graduates develop and grow as they've undertaken a range of secondments and experiences across the UK and international nuclear sector. It's been a crazy two years, you know, multiple secondments, lived around the UK. I've learned so much. Um, it's been an amazing way to immerse yourself in the nuclear industry, especially it's something that I didn't really do at university. So to be totally thrown in at the deep end and come out ready to start a career. It's been a massive learning experience for me. When I came in, I wasn't that confident and it's the scheme has really built my confidence, you know, going into companies, going into working on sites. Um, I've really developed as a person. I've really come on and I feel actually ready to start my career full time now. When I started the programme, I want to have as many different experiences as possible. And I think that the structure of the programme has enabled me to do that. It's really enabled me to select in every step of the way where I want to go, where I want to be, what I want to be doing. One of my highlights was going to Vienna for an IAEA conference representing an AMR company. It was just something I never imagined myself doing and being there representing a new technology that's contributing to net zero was an amazing, amazing experience. My highlights from the scheme actually was, was working on site, actually seeing how real nuclear work is done. I've been to Wales, I've been to Bristol, I've been over to Australia and going to Australia. It turned out to be, you know, the best part of the, of the graduate programme for me. New experiences, new people, new cultures, new environment, everything that I was looking to do. It's bittersweet to be completing the programme today, so I'm ready for the next stage of my career, but I've had so much fun and I've met so many amazing people along the way that it's sad this is the last nuclear graduate event as a graduate that I'll attend, but I hope to be back in the future as an alumni. It, it feels good to be graduating and having this great celebration event. Um, but yeah, it's also a little bit sad to sort of be saying goodbye to people, but I'm sure we'll all be staying in touch. Like, I've got really good friends here. We've developed so much as a, as a group, as a cohort. We've gone through so much together. We've gone through so much individually. And everything we've done has really influenced where I am now and where I'm going in the future. So I'm going into nuclear consultancy, so I want to make a contribution to Net Zero and be a part of this change that the UK and the world's really needing. And the programme's really prepared me for the challenges ahead. I'm be working in the Bristol Hub uh, in, as a process engineer, working on all sorts of interesting challenges, like to do with hydrogen, for example. If you're entering the graduate scheme, utilise the different experiences that you have to see exactly what you want to do and exactly what you don't want to do and the perfect example of that is doing as many different things as possible. Find out what the nuclear industry is about, what the challenges are, and there's lots of great challenges in nuclear, and there's a much future for nuclear. So yeah, learn, learn what you can and yeah, apply for the nuclear graduate scheme. I'd say that the, the graduate scheme is what you make of it. The opportunities are there. You just have to go for it. Don't be frightened, don't be scared, and say yes. Worst thing that can happen is you'll learn something on the way.